There's that uh, ship looking object again. And all the hexahedron, they're, the shapes in red, and they're there too. I'm gonna just close in for a brief look. Okay, you can clearly see there are white orbs along the bottom. The object is yellow, and there are white orbs all over the entire bottom from end to end. The object looks like a hat. It has sort of a dome in the middle, but it's rectangular. And then it's a oblong sort of line shape from end to end with that rectangular portion in the middle sticking up. And uh, there's a cluster right here on the bottom that's active. Actually a whole bunch of them. And then there are two red clusters on top. And a white one that's very active on the bottom. And then there's white clusters all along the bottom. Until you come to the left side of it or the left side of the screen and there's two red clusters on top and a bunch of white clusters on the bottom and there's the central central point that looks like a hat so if I back off that's what the hexahedrons in the thing look like and right in front of them there are these big uh, bright lights that are in my way. So this object is very large. It seems to be hovering just in one spot. With all those uh, red hexahedron lights at one point they turn into orbs then into hexahedrons right now they're orbs so I don't know what that is That was there yesterday and just kind of stayed for an hour and vanished as if it, if it was never there at all. But you could see that that's uh, most likely an orb cluster taking a form of a, what looks like a giant hat. Sort of looks like a saucer. It's hard to say because it keeps changing shape. And you can see all the clusters that are making it up. There's yellow and white clusters making it up. Even red clusters as well. You can see all the movement on it and inside of it. And if I move back you can get a clearer look at the shape. So that's a pretty new addition to Toronto. This is its second day of appearance. And uh, it has never been here before yesterday. I can, if I can get it over more. As you can hear, I see the whole thing. There's what it looks like with the red orbs on each side and the white orbs on the bottom and in the middle and then yellow orbs in between. So it looks like a saucer and it acts like a saucer but 
I'm not sure what it is. It sort of just appears there and then disappears. And I can't see it doing anything except hover. But if you look at it from farther out, there's all the red orbs and there, that's their formation around the thing. And then there's those big bright lights in front of it. Here's a red orb and a white orb together. They're both large clusters. And these are all our clusters. These are on top. And then uh, there's more on the bottom. These are the bottom ones. And these are all the ones on the bottom. Almost looks like an old fashioned car, the shape of it. It looks like an old fashioned car or, or a hat. But it's uh, strictly made up of all orb clusters. Uh, the colors are yellow, white, and red. Here's what it looks like from far away. And this last orb cluster here that's white is together with a red one. That's that's an interesting point. You can clearly see that they're all orb cl orb clusters. You can see the orbs. They're in some kind of formation. I don't know what formation that is. There's a white orb on the bottom there that's active. It's an orb cluster. All of these on the bottom there are white or orb clusters. And there's a lot of smaller ones there in yellow. The white ones are large and the red ones are large. And this side has them too, the big red ones right on the corner. So, uh, if you look at the whole thing, that's what it looks like. There's a lot of interesting lights in Toronto these days, all over the place. So I just wanted to show this again, that it's back tonight uh, for another debut, second day in a row. Okay, this is uh, May 23rd, 2011. Actually, it's May 24th, 2011. It's about 2 in the morning. Okay, I'll try and get something.